All right, I'm going to make sure that I create my project the way I'm supposed to. I believe this is 800 and this is 600. And I'm basically setting up, I'm in the advanced mode right here, and I'm setting up my windows to get ready to do our first project. Um, please go through the book. Um, I'm going to go through it at a different pace, um, a quicker pace, but there's a lot of information in here that you need to learn. Um, I am in the interface of 2019. Um, if your interface, when you start it, doesn't look like this, you're using, I'm sorry, this is 219. If your interface doesn't look like this, you're in 218. So I click on it, and here we go, ready to go. No, I do not need to improve. And so I come here. I blew it as a teacher. I need to went a little fast. They want you to use this 333. You can always tell because it changes the color right up here. So that's the background color. Now we're going to go file import into our library. Hopefully you've looked at where everything is, so you know I'm assuming you know where all these buttons are already. So you notice if you want to import all of them, if you hold the shift key down, you can do it. Or you can do the control and do each one individually. So I don't care how you do it. Or you can come out here and just click. Okay, so I hit open and you see my properties versus my library. I have other things that are here too and hopefully you've gone over this. I'm going to go into my library and what they want me to do, I can look at each one. I'm going to change my um, my vision because I've got a small screen because I'm recording. I'm going to take the background, I'm going to drag it onto my canvas. You know, just kind of eyeball it. That sounds good to me. I'm going to double click right here and I'm going to do background. Sorry, it takes me a little bit of time. I can lock this layer so it doesn't mess. What happens is we're going to get a whole bunch of layers, and if you click the wrong one and it ends up out here, it can be a pain. So sometimes some designers, are they come in here and they lock it. This is if I wanted to throw it away or make a new folder, which we're going to use, or make a new layer. As you can tell, this whole chapter is just getting used to uh, animate. I want to say flash. It's the same thing, but it's called animate now. They're trying to get away from the... It got a bad rep that it had a lot of security flaws in it, but it does not know how to animate. I'm sure everything has a little bit of back doors, but we're fine here. Okay, so I can turn, I can lock it by going right here. And you see, here's my frame rates. These are how fast things are going. It says 24 frames per minute, per second, sorry. <laughs> That'd be really slow. Okay, so here I am. I'm, I can lock it if I so choose. That way nobody can move it. And what I want to do is I'm going to create a new, I'm looking through the book to make sure I'm not getting out of hand, a new layer above it. So I just click right here. I'm going to call this in the beginning. I'm just going to call it photo. One, enter. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take photo one. I'm going to drag it. Don't worry about where it's at. You can be here, here. We're going to adjust it later. Okay. On the background, I think I did this out of order, but we're fine. We're going to go out to 48, and on your keyboard, hopefully you're on a PC, on a Mac, you're out of luck. You have to follow the directions on the book. Um, above the 7, the number keys, you see F. I'm going to hit F5, and it fills everything in there. Okay. Um, you can see that there is an image in here because it's a black dot. Watch. If I come here and call this Photo 2, you can see that there's a solid dot here and not. So there's no image in here. Um, and it's kind of good that we're going to do that. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to hit F5 and we're going to fill this all in to some extent. Um, so we have photo 1, 2, and 3. I've only loaded photo 2 and that's purpose. I did that on purpose because on page 18 they're going to have you go to slide uh, 24 I believe it is. 24. And they're going to have you drop in Make sure I do this right before I do it. You're going to hit F6 right next to the F5. Make sure I'm doing it. Let me see here. F6 right there. You see that's light gray, dark gray. There's nothing there. I'm going to drag Photo 2 on at this point. Doesn't matter where it is, okay? We're going to adjust those. Now you see here, it's now gray and dark gray. There is nothing here. If I move my frame, this is the speed. Look, at you can see what's happening. It doesn't come on until 24 seconds, okay? A little quicker than that. Um, so now we got photo two in. 
Now we're going to go to photo three, and it just keeps stacking on here all the way through. Let me look at one thing, make sure I didn't change anything. Uh, we want to move, I guess, this one to 12 seconds, so real easy. They're just teaching all this stuff. We can move it back. If I, if I grab the whole thing, double click, I can actually move this back to 12, and I can adjust it out to here. So, oopsie, undo. Okay, and I just moved it back to 12 because on page 20, they're saying let's get it back to 12 and we're ready to go. Now, photo three, we've got to get photo three, so we've got to do another layer. I'm going to hit here, layer, put on here, photo. I guess I should stay consistent. Photo three, there's not a picture in here. Okay, we're totally fine. We're going to come to slide 24. We're going to hit F6. You see that's where we're going to drop it. There is not a photo in there until I go. I'm going to get on that little frame there. I'm going to go F3. I'm going to drop it in there. Guess what? We have loaded three photos in with the background. Don't worry how they look or how they're layered. That's just what we're going to do. The book then goes on and talks about a folder system. So we're going to hit a folder. We're just going to call this folder photos and I'm going to drag all the photos in there. Um, I like to keep them in a certain order like the book has. Um, if you can see here it kind of gradually it's like a stair step up. I like that the best. It's something that makes me really happy. You can do whatever you would like to do. You just need to find your own organization within this. Now we're going to do positioning of those pictures, and the book is going to tell you exactly how they want you to position each picture. So let me look at something real quick here, and make sure I'm on the right step so I don't get you totally messed up. But we're going to look at um, we're going to look at the first picture. So we're going to come back here. Should be back a little farther, but we're come right here. And what we're going to do is. We are going to change and make sure it's saying the first that's photo two. There is photo one. I'm just looking in the book to make sure. Drag 50-50 and does it want negative 12. So we're going to properties. You can see a little blue line around here. That's what they're looking at. Just make sure you have that little arrow here. You click on it. Okay. What we want to do, it says 50. This is positioning on the canvas. It's not size, it's just positioning. We're going to come right in here, hit transform. They want it negative 12. So if you look as I drag this across there, that photo stays right there because I have that selected. Now I'm going to go to photo 2. I always just go right here to the first keyframe. Click on the picture. Okay, They want a certain size with this. They want it X at 200. Now watch it move, and they want Y at 40. They also want a 6 rotation on it. So we're going to go 6, hit enter, there we go. Now we're coming out to the third picture. Remember, arrow, make sure it's on, click on it, because you're not going to get anything. Okay, I'm going to turn the page, sorry if my, mo my mic gets all messed up. Um, double click on it, they want 360. Come here. And 65. They want a rotation of that image at negative 2. So here's where we are so far. If you were to come here and hit play, let's go to the beginning, my bad, rewind it, and hit play. We are creating a picture animation. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do, we're going to learn how to play with these little tools here on the side. Everything is designed to help you learn something in this class, and that's what I like about this book. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make another layer, click on the folder. We don't want it in the photos because we're going to make stars. I'm going to double click on it. We're going to do stars. I should spell right. Okay. And then I'm going to come to this tool right here. It doesn't have a little, see how some of these have a little triangle? This one is our polystar tool. I double click on it. This comes up. We want options. We want it to be a star. Okay. We do not want 
of we do not want a border around it. So we come down here where it says cross. That means there is no border around the outside, no tracing around the outside of the star, and we want it to be yellow right here. So now watch. When I come out here, I can draw stars, and it doesn't matter where you put them, okay? Just want to make sure you're on this layer. And I blew it because you know what? This was not supposed to start. This was supposed to be like, I think it says 35. See, you know, your teacher gets all all going and I need to cut some stuff out. But it wasn't supposed to happen to 35. Is that right? As I'm looking, frame 36. See, look at, gosh, I'm getting good in my old age. Um, I can shorten it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep, just for all you know, I'm just going to keep drawing on it, guys. I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to keep drawing on it. Yes, I understand. Don't send me emails. The stars are coming on too early. Um, you can email Erica Johnson. I'll give you her email. Um, I messed up here. I'm not going to change the keyframe because it's, this video is getting big as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind. Stars are on early. Sorry. I'm going to hit play. And the pictures come in. Okay, that's going to take us all the way out to page 31 in, the, in my book. And then they're going to talk about a blur and in the actions. And I, I haven't been able to get this. It's a big change from the old one. But what I had, the only way I can see to get the action to change it, make sure I have my arrow key. I can come here, right click on it, and I can change it to a symbol. I'm going to go off, convert it to a symbol. It's going to go off your screen. I just, I'm hitting convert symbol. Okay, convert to symbol. And now when I click on it, I can go to these filters. So what they wanted you to do is, and there's some other things they're having you do, like in F6. I'm going to put an F6 there. Um, at this point, they want this to blur. So i got to click on it. And you can go in there and you can make it blur. Let me get out of here, sorry. Um, we can bl blur it right here blur and they wanted a certain amount so what they're trying to do is as this goes look at how pretty it is as it goes it blurs the other one comes on top of it and so as we get here I'm gonna put F6 again because it drops a keyframe in I come here I gotta convert this image at this point into a symbol yes and then I can add the blur from that point forward so look what's happening so as they come in, nice and clear, the new one comes, but the the the, mer the blue line behind it went blurry, and we went on and on and on, and all of a sudden this one goes blurry, and so forth and so on, and then the stars come on and it all gets blurry. Okay, that's the only way I've seen to do a blur the blue <laughs> the blur tool. Okay, the last part of this is saving your movie and uploading it. Okay, and we know all know that we're supposed to save this as. Zero one work group, okay, and they're gonna have you resize it. I don't want the resized one, I just want the zero one working copy dot F L A uploaded. Okay. So that should get you started.